All right, folks, get comfortable, close your eyes, relax. I'll be quick, don't worry. <sighs> All right, I'm ready. Saki the Succubus is a very straightforward and basic manga. Saki comes from a lineage of succubi that needs to harvest the male essence to be able to stay healthy and forever young. With supper out of the way, she's looking for the next course, the final course, dessert. She's putting together a banana split Sunday and has currently just found the banana. She's looking to drizzle it with some daddy sauce and some old chode nectar to put on top of it. But Saki the Succubus doesn't want to just sucky sucky any old dick until those balls barf. She wants to sucky sucky the dick from the man that she loves. And that is basically the plot of the manga in a nutshell. If the succubus do not harvest the male essence within a certain time limit, their pheromones go out of whack and get super powerful and cause all the guys around them to just get super horny. So when Saki decides to shack up with Renta, the 35 year old virgin male protagonist of our manga, it becomes a blessing but a curse in his life. Renta has never had a girlfriend before, so when Saki comes into his life, that is the blessing. She is basically a housewife for him, she cooks, cleans, basically naked, and it's a dream come true. But because Renta is a nice guy, that is why it is also a curse. He respects the fact that Saki is a virgin and that she doesn't want to just suck the white snake sauce out of any dude and doesn't act on any of the male primal urges that he feels. Instead, on the first night that she sleeps there, he has a raging erection from the outfit that she's wearing and needs to rub one off. So instead of going to the washroom, he decides to just watch her while she's sleeping while jerking off. And what did you know? She wakes up to use the washroom and he's like, oh, ha -ha, she wakes up at a time like this, ah, what a bitch. And half asleep, she gets into the bed with him where again she falls asleep while holding him with her breast basically rubbing up against his arm and then again he decides it's a good idea to continue jerking off and just blows his load on her thighs. He immediately passes out and turns out she's not asleep at all and she's happy that he just blew his cocks not all over her thighs because she just grabs that custard and just uh, uh, clean. And the next morning she feels great. She just harvested but she didn't even need to lose her virginity. And again, that is basically the rest of the manga. There is no fucking whatsoever in this manga. I am on chapter 40, and not once is there a P in the goddamn V. But instead, what we are given is basically the equivalent of somebody telling you to drink a glass of water when you're hungry. Because if the succubus do not have anybody around to harvest, all they gotta do is finger bang themselves, and that'll keep their pheromones in control for a little bit longer. And that is what this manga is filled with, basically. It is borderline a hentai, and they make sure to cover up on every male fantasy that you would search for when you go on Pornhub. Her sister, Yume, who is a sexy doctor, conducts her checkups on Saki by making out with her. So there you go, you got your sexy doctor, your sister on sister action right there. You got the housewife fantasy that cooks and cleans, basically in the nude or wearing cute sexy cat lingerie. And the list goes on and on and on. And the art in the manga is good enough, because who cares, you get endless amounts of finger banging and tits in every page. But there is something about the story of the manga just hidden under all the tits and finger banging. Do they fall in love with each other? And you do start to kind of feel bad for Renta. Because when you think about it, he is living in a nightmare. This guy that's constantly horny has to jerk off like eight times a day. Just imagine the pain that he's in. But then they throw in some funny stuff like her accidentally biting on his dick the first time she tries to give him a little drop and you just kind of forget about it all. Every chapter is basically the same thing, but with the exploration of a different fantasy. And I am sitting here after reading four volumes, waiting on the fifth volume. Why am I so excited for this fifth volume? Is it because of the endless amounts of tits and finger banging and sister on sister action and girl on girl action between her and his coworker and just the potential like, oh, they're so close to fucking that time. Or is it because I'm invested in the story and I really want to know if they fall in love, get married, start a family and explore a different fantasy that's out there on Pornhub. And that's basically it for this review. If somebody was looking for a raunchy comedy manga, I would definitely recommend this for them. If you were searching online and stumbled across this and you purchased it, you knew exactly what you were purchasing. But also if you were given this as a gift and that person accepts it, they also knew what they were accepting. And also if you managed to read all four volumes that are currently out and are waiting for the fifth one, yeah, you know why you're reading this. Because you are a man of culture, and the writing and the art of this manga is 
fantastic. And on that note, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Mike's Creepy Corner. Have a great night and sweet dreams, ladies. And gentlemen, if that's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs>